Hello students. Today we are going to solve some numericals on coefficient of performance on the topic basic concepts of refrigeration and air conditioning. Question number one. A Carnot refrigerator requires 1.5 kilowatt per ton of refrigeration to maintain a region at minus 30 degrees Celsius. Find out the coefficient of performance of refrigerator. So students before solving any numerical we have to note down the given inputs. So here in this question we can see power input is given that is 1.5 kilowatt. So we can write here power input is equal to 1.5 kilowatt. Here also one input is given that is per ton of refrigeration to maintain a region at minus 30 degrees Celsius. That means refrigeration capacity is also given here. So we can write refrigeration capacity is equal to 1 TR. TR is ton of refrigeration. And we have already studied in our last class that 1 TR is equal to 3.5 kilowatt or 210 kilojoule per minute. As we know the formula of coefficient of performance of refrigerator is equal to refrigeration capacity divided by power input. So we can write here refrigeration capacity is 3.5 kilowatt and power input is 1.5 kilowatt and after solving this expression we will get coefficient of performance of refrigerator is equal to 2.33. Moving on the next question. Next question is a refrigerating machine working on reversed Carnot cycle takes out 2 kilowatt from a system while working between temperature limits 300 Kelvin and 200 Kelvin. Then find the coefficient of performance and power consumed. So in this question first of all we will write the given inputs. So here the given input is refrigeration capacity that is 2 kilowatt here it is given that is uh, a refrigerating machine working on a reverse Carnot cycle takes out 2 kilowatt so 2 kilowatt is nothing but the refrigeration capacity and two inputs are also given here that is the higher temperature 300 Kelvin and the lower temperature 200 Kelvin and in this question one input is also given that is it is a reversed Carnot cycle so we know the formula for reverse Carnot cycle coefficient of performance of refrigerator is equal to TL divided by TH minus TL. TL stands for lower temperature and TH stands for higher temperature. So we know that lower temperature is 200 higher is 300. After solving this expression we can get the coefficient of performance of refrigerator as 2. Now in this question first question asked was coefficient of performance and the second was power consumed. So one we have already got that is coefficient of performance of refrigerator is 2. Now we have to find out power consumed. So formula of coefficient of refrigerator is also refrigeration capacity by power input. So by rearranging this expression we can write power input is equal to refrigeration by coefficient of performance of refrigerator and we can get power input is equal to 1 kilowatt after solving the expression. Now moving on next question. The working temperature in evaporator and condenser coils of refrigerator are minus 30 degrees Celsius or 243 Kelvin and 32 degrees Celsius or 305 Kelvin. If the actual refrigerant has a COP of 0 0.75 times maximum COP then find power input for a refrigeration capacity of 5 kilowatt. So in this question they have given a input that is actual refrigerant has a COP of 0 0.75 times the maximum COP. So by the help of this input we will find power input for a refrigeration capacity of 5 kilowatt. So first of all we will write the given inputs. COP actual is equal to 0 0.75 times the COP maximum and lower temperature is 243 Kelvin and higher temperature is 305 Kelvin. So we can find out the maximum COP by this formula TL by TH minus TL. So we will get maximum COP as 3.919. 
then by the help of this input COP actual is equal to 0.75 times the COP max we can get COP actual and that is equal to 0.75 multiplied with 3.919 and that will be equal to 2.939 so by the formula coefficient of performance actual is equal to refrigeration capacity by power input so by this formula we will be able to find out power input so finally our power input will be 1.70 kilowatt now moving to the next question the ratio of minimum to maximum temperature in a Carnot cycle is 0.8 if the heat pump is operated between same temperature limits what is its COP so here one condition is given that is the minimum to maximum temperature ratio so minimum temperature that means T lower and maximum temperature that means T higher so its ratio is 0.8 that is equal to 8 divided by 10 so we know the formula of coefficient of performance of heat pump that is equal to T higher divided by T lower T higher minus T lower and so we can do one thing here that uh, from denominator we can take th common so this expression will become 1 divided by 1 minus th by tl or we can do another thing that we can divide numerator and denominator both by t higher so again we will get that expression that is cop of heat pump is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus t higher by t lower and we know the value of t higher and t lower from the given input that is 0.8 so by solving this equation we can get COP of heat pump is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 0.8 and the COP of heat pump will be 5 or we can also find it by this formula that COP of heat pump is equal to 1 plus COP of refrigerator so uh, if we want to use this formula then before using this formula we have to find out the COP of refrigerator and by finding out the COP of refrigerator we will be able to find out the COP of heat pump. Thank you students. That's all for today's class.